And these days, what do you mean by that? Know how to cook, know how to clean, have a good job, and know how to take care of themselves. They really don't need a woman. They like to have women around. She's got a point. She's making a lot of sense. Since a man can do all of that, what can a woman bring to the table? That's a great question. So you, as a woman, have to bring something to the table other than sex. You can't make it up. A lot of women say, I bring peace. He has his own peace. You're going to have to bring more than that than peace. You have to bring loyalty, trust, understanding, communication. Help him. Mom! Put me back! Ladies, don't entertain or stay with a man who asks you, what do you bring to the table? To me, it's like asking, why should I choose you? Stop getting with broke men. Stop it. Stop it now. Stop it. He's really nice to you, and, and he listens. Oh, The Cheesecake Factory's not a date, but she's- Oh, he only lives with his parents because he's saving money to buy an apartment. Okay. Stupid, stupid! He asked you to split the bill, and you agreed. Hey guys, welcome back. Today, we're diving into a growing trend. More and more men are deciding to take their own path. We'll explore why men are making this choice the effects on modern relationships, and what it could mean for the future of dating. If you're curious about this movement, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Let's get started. The ball pit at Chuck E. Cheese. This sucks! I just want to know, where are all the nice, normal people who don't lie, don't cheat, whom you can trust? There's so many mean creeps out there. Many men have been through it. They've put in the effort, time, and care, only to be let down by women who didn't value what they brought to the table. At one point, we were hopeful, thinking that if we just loved deeply and stayed loyal, we'd get that same energy back. But reality hit hard. After being broken down by unappreciative women, games, and unrealistic expectations, many men have decided to step back. Now, we're choosing peace over drama. Being single isn't a curse, it's a relief. No more chasing women with endless demands who bring nothing to the table. No more walking on eggshells, trying to live up to impossible ideals. Now, we're focused on ourselves, our goals, and our peace. It's liberating. No more emotional roller coasters or feeling inadequate. We've realized that being single means living life on our own terms, without the pressure to conform to someone else's expectations. We've learned our lessons. If it means avoiding drama, heartbreak, and nonsense, we're okay being single. Women may keep raising their standards while offering less in return, but we're done with the games. We're not broken. We're just not playing anymore. But definitely men are the prize. Like, if we're really being honest, men really are the prize. Like, every woman wants to have a great man, but not every great man wants to have a great woman. A man wants to have a functioning woman, a woman that's able to complement his lifestyle. Um, they, they actually have bare minimum in terms of what they really want from women. But us, on the other hand, we have these high expectations of men. Why? Because men are the prize. Besides the fact that men are the ones that actually choose to marry and they're the ones that, you know, are, are people that create the solid foundation for relationships. Like men are the prize. We do everything for men. We do everything to impress men, but we're so, we're, we're so ignorant about it and see as Kata acting as though we are the prize, but men are the prize. Men, men are definitely the people that they think they are. That's on condition that a man thinks he is who he is. When a man feels appreciated, respected, and valued, there's no limit to what he'll do to make his woman happy. But here's the thing. He's not going to settle for someone who doesn't return that same appreciation. He knows his worth. Until he finds a woman who sees him as the prize, he'll keep exploring his options. Men aren't desperate for validation anymore. They know they bring value, stability, loyalty, ambition, and protection. And they want a partner who adds to their life, not drains it. Men aren't asking for much. They want respect, appreciation, and a true partnership. They won't settle for being taken for granted or treated as disposable. When a man finds a woman who genuinely values him, he'll stop searching. Until then, he'll keep his standards high because he knows he deserves someone who sees his worth. Men have options, too, 
and they're no longer settling for less. My favorite like incel weirdo comment is women only date for free food. It makes me laugh because I'm like, okay, let's say I go on one date a week and I go to dinner, which by the way, not every date I go on is a dinner date. But for the sake of argument, let's say I'm going on one dinner date a week. How am I feeding myself dinner the other six nights a week? Am I just not eating dinner until a man takes me out to eat? Like, I just always laugh at the fact that they're like, you just want free dinner. Like, do you know how much time and energy and money I have to spend on hair and makeup and an outfit for a date? I am actively losing money by going to dinner with you, but I'm still going because I'm dating you to see if I'm interested. Not to mention, we're also putting our lives at risk because you don't know if that guy from Hinge is actually going to kill you. So no, we don't date for the free food. I can take myself to dinner and I do feed myself every single day. It's amazing. It's like a miracle. It's a tough truth, but today... Many men are realizing that some women aren't seeking genuine connections anymore. Instead, they're looking for sponsors, men to fund their lifestyle, or at the very least, offer a free meal, without any real intention of building a meaningful relationship. You hear these stories everywhere. A woman goes on a date with no intention of seeing the guy again, but stays for the dinner. When the check arrives, she expects him to pay, but there's no emotional investment from her side. It's all about the experience not about the connection. The problem is, this leads to distrust. Men start to question whether women are truly interested in them or just in what they can provide. Real connections are being replaced by transactions, and this doesn't sit well with men. But men are catching on. They're becoming more selective about who they spend their time and resources on. No one wants to feel used or like an ATM. The days of blindly playing the free meal game are over. Men now prioritize women who are genuinely interested in them, not just looking for a good time or a handout. At the end of the day, real relationships are built on mutual respect, shared values, and authentic interest. While some women may still be playing the sponsor game, men who value themselves aren't falling for it anymore. They're looking for real, not someone who's only there for a free meal. All the time. I just don't understand, like... <sighs> what it is about me that makes people think that they can treat me the way that they do and I'm nothing but kind to them. I'm nothing but honest and loyal and I give people space to to share things with me so why can't anyone do that for me? And like moving forward is just like how am I ever supposed to feel confident about anything? Because it's like it literally always, it always just slaps me in the face. I genuinely cannot get excited anymore about anything because it's like everything just lasts for such a short period of time. It's like the second I start getting excited or happy about something, God or the universe or whoever is controlling my life is like... I love watching you suffer, so I'm just gonna like sprinkle this thing into your life and just make you miserable. And I'm so tired. Like, I just do not know. I don't know how I can move forward from this. You'll often see women online wondering why they keep ending up with the same bad relationship outcomes. They're dating the same type of guy in a different body, yet are shocked when the results don't change. It's like they expect a different ending but keep choosing the same kind of man, let's call him Chad, and act surprised when things go south again. She thought this time would be different, but it's just another Chad playing the same games, lacking commitment, and ignoring her feelings. It's a vicious cycle she can't seem to escape, and the sad part is, she doesn't realize she's the common denominator in all these situations. Here's the truth. You can't expect a new outcome if you keep picking the same type of man. She's chasing excitement, flashiness, and bad boy vibes, thinking it'll turn out differently. But deep down, it's the same pattern in a different body. Until she breaks the cycle, she'll keep getting hurt. The reality is, a real man doesn't fit the image she's chasing. He's not the guy with the smooth lines, the swagger, or the toxic traits disguised as confidence. A real man brings stability, respect, and care. But that's not who she's choosing. She's stuck, chasing the wrong type, thinking this time it'll be different. At some point, she has to ask herself, when does the blame shift? When does she start taking accountability for her choices? Because if you're only drawn to Chad's, 
you're going to keep getting Chad results. So he decides to stay the night and we're up to like two, three o'clock in the morning, just having pillow talk, chit chatting. Next thing you know, we hear a beep, like a big, like a loud beep downstairs and a bang. And I'm like, what in the world is that? You know, my ring alarms didn't go off from the front in the backyard. So I'm like, okay, I don't know what could be going on. You know, sometimes ring misses um, motion. So I'm like, okay, we don't know what's going on. Y'all want to know what this man said? <laughs> this man said, do you want to go check out the noise downstairs? You want to go see what that noise is? <laughs> me. Me, the woman. Me. Go downstairs and check what the noise is. <laughs> I thought you were supposed to protect me. Let's be clear. He's the prize and it's your job to protect him. You don't always need a reason to break up, but if you're playing games, you're putting him at risk. Imagine this. You hear a noise, and he's there to protect you. But what if that noise is another man you've been seeing behind his back? This happens more often than we like to admit, and it can get ugly fast. Men have walked into dangerous situations without even knowing what they're stepping into. When you're playing these games, you're not just risking yourself. You're putting him in harm's way, too. Men aren't there just to serve and protect while you do whatever you want. If he's good to you, be good to him. Respect him, and don't drag him into dangerous situations, knowingly or unknowingly. If you care about him, it's your responsibility to protect him, too. And before you go, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this one. Your support helps us keep bringing you content that matters. Thanks for watching.